everyone, today's video is how to take care of a guinea pig after the molar surgery. Firstly, how we find this problem. Uh, Jerry was quite fat before, as you can see. Uh, he was 1.1 kg before, but after 3 months, he lost nearly uh, 300 grams, which is a big number for guinea pig. And uh, comparing to my guinea pig, he was quite fat. But now he was he's quite slim, and uh, he's only eight hundred gram, so he has uh, uh, he cannot eat well. So we took him to the. So before the surgery, we need to do a uh, initial consultation. Uh, we noticed that there is a numb under his jawline, which caused the dislocated mouse. So he cannot eat well, and also this is a photo of a normal guinea pig, and uh, comparing to that. Uh, Jerry's uh, mouth looks really strange, and uh, the upper one forms a bridging, which stops his tongue to move out. And also, the upper teeth is really sharp. So we decided to take the surgery. And uh, the vet uh, showed me this picture about what happened here. And uh, her recommendation is to do the molar trim first, and then use the antibiotic to stop the growth of the abscess. Uh, before the surgery, Jerry was quite happy and uh, has a good appetite, so I feed him the critical care every four hours. And uh, on that day, at 8 a.m., I bring Jerry to the vet and uh, fill up all the forms and uh, tell the vet about the medicine usage. And then I call the vet at 12 p.m. to check the Jerry's recovery, and uh, they say, uh, he is doing well, and at 6 p.m. I pick him up. At that moment, he wakes up. So then the vet showed me the picture of his surgery. So what they did and what happened here, and uh, how I can take care of him after the surgery. So when I take him back to home, he is really energetic. And after the surgery, uh, at the first night, Jerry cannot eat hay or anything, and uh, I can only feed him the critical care. As you can see, I took this video at 7.30 p.m., and uh, he is quite drowsy, and uh, so I just let him to sleep. And uh, later, at 11 p.m., uh, he wakes up, and uh, it's 30 cc of critical care, and uh, just go back to bed to sleep. So on the second day, Jerry wakes up and refuses to eat the critical care. So instead of that, I provide him some soft food, just like watermelon and peach. And there are also some recommendations from the Facebook group. I really appreciate people's help. And uh, they just ask me to damp the hair with apple juice to, to tempt them to eat. And also just make some critical care bowl by adding some water into the bowl and uh, then roll it into the bowl. And uh, I made a comparison of Jerry's situation and uh, sent it to the vet. And uh, they just told me that Jerry was highly relied on the critical care. So they asked me to reduce the feeding amount of critical care and just let him to eat by himself. And uh, in this video, Jerry just has a large bite of the cucumber. He's getting fat now. And uh, then I just get some grass for him to eat, but he only play with the grass and uh, no willing to eat. And uh, finally, on the third day, he can eat the hot tablet by himself and also want to try some haze. So on the third day, he recovers really well and uh, can eat haze by himself. So this is a really good news for us. As you can see, he eats some pellets. Really cute, right? So here's a summary. First, uh, bring a tower to avoid further hurt because they can be drowsy at this moment. So bring a tower to wrap them and take them back. Uh, so uh, secondly, is to be patient because after surgery, they can be really tired and they need time to recover. So just th let them sleep first and then when they wake up, just feed them the critical care. And thirdly, is to frequently monitor the weight. Because if there is a, l a big decrease, you can tell the vet about this 
the situation. Uh, the fourth point is to use the medicine as the instruction from the vet, so they can recover really well. And uh, fin last but not least is to adjust the, their diet step by step. Firstly, try the critical care, which is really easy for them to take in. And the secondly is to change into into some soft food just like peach, watermelon and uh, grass and finally you can always put some hay in their hutch uh, if they are willing to eat they will try by themselves so that is all about my video hope every guinea pig have a lovely life